three, baby. Nine is fine. Man, I'm really digging this not losing thing and guaranteeing a split in a four game series, no matter who you're playing, is very, very important as well. Uh, four runs. Again, the two out magic, two strike magic. Big, big time again. Uh, Spencer Strider, the mustache man, had it all going on tonight. Flamethrowers out of his arm, out of his eyes, out of his stash. Had the Pirates hitters overmatched at times. And had to work out of a couple of jams, but was able to do it thanks to great defense and communication. Gave up one out singles to uh, Mercado and Mitchell in the second, second and third, one out. And Michael Harris... Uh, the second, um, a 20-year vet move on the fly ball by Swaggerty. He took charge of it like the general in the center field should. And that was a good thing because he was charging towards home plate. And whereas if Adam Duvall catches that, he's leaning. And I think the Pirates may try it. Instead, you ain't running on Michael Harris. And then he was able to get a fly out. By Perez on the next pitch to slam the door on that rally. So really, really good instinctual plays by the youngster out there in the center and taking charge big time. And then in the third, after making a Dansby Dazzler play, a uh, bare hand on a soft roller behind the mound to help Strider, a rally killer defensive web gym by Dansby. And then in the third, we... Finally got on the board with a one-out single by that man again, Michael Harris. I'm sorry, he's never going to see the light of AAA. Sorry, not sorry. He's just, he's just it. It feels like he's got it. He's got all the tools, and he's just learning and just peaking. It's so great to see one-out single by Michael Harris. And then his first career stolen base, zoom, zoom, zoom. And then he was stealing third base, and that was huge too, because on the soft grounder by Ronald, Key Brian Hayes was going to cover third. Instead, it turned into an infield single because Key Brian couldn't get back to the to the ball. So first and third, one out. We try to get Ronald in the scoring position, try to steal him, and uh, the Pirates second baseman threw his knee down. Didn't really like that, but uh, they executed the the play to perfection. So uh, ran a, ran into an out there. So runner at third, two outs. Dansby Swanson, a magnificent at bat. Got to two strikes quickly, but he's the two strike RBI king. He did it again after spinning on a nasty, nasty slider to get to three two. They tried to sneak a ninety seven. Mile an hour fastball in on Dansby. You do that at your own peril. And he absolutely smoked it down the line. Two run swan bomb. Kissed it off the foul pole. Actually banged it off the foul pole for a two run shot. And then we went in to add on mode in the fourth with a Travis Darno hustle. Hustle double even though it was an error. Um, smoked one up the middle. Swaggerty bobbled it. And uh, Travis was able to outrun the baseball, get to second, and then Ozzy smoked to double off the bricks. Uh, it need, needs to do some push-ups to get those balls over the wall, but you take the RBI double. Nevertheless, 3 nothing. And then in the fifth, we went into add-on mode again. Michael Harris, lead off eagle eye walk. Dansby, smoke show, up the middle, return to sender, return to sender, first and third. Um, Riley struck out, unfortunately, and then Matt Olson hit an absolute missile, and Dansby had to do his best limbo and Matrix impression to not get nailed by that line drive. Uh, but 4 nothing, it reached green grass, thankfully. 4 nothing, and then in the sixth, Strider gave up a couple singles to Chavis and Brian Reynolds. He's got the infield single play down. This entire series, first and third, two outs. Dylan Lee came in, best fireman impression, put out the fire with a clutch strikeout of Cal Mitchell on nasty fall off the table curveballs. Had no chance, put out that fire. 
And then in the seventh, he gave up a leadoff 0-2 hit, but got some help from Ronald Acuna Jr. on a line shot right to him. Kind of misread it a little bit, but was able to make the leaping catch kind of shades of Miami last year, but a great leaping catch stab to uh, stunt a possible rally. And the fact that he's healthy and fine, absolutely amazing. Web Jim there. And then Darren O'Day came in uh, for the righty righty matchup, struck out Schwinski on a 86 mile an hour fastball cutter, um, sit down there. And then in the eighth, that was the big spot of bother. Jackson Stevens came back from a 3 0 count to strike out Key Brian Hayes on a cutter that just kept boring in on his hands. Key Brian Hayes had the hat trick tonight, and that was huge because. After that, Jackson Stevens gave up three consecutive hits. One, uh, Brian Reynolds smoked one off his leg um, for an infield single again. Uh, he stayed in but wasn't as effective. Vogelbach single on a 2-2 breaking ball. Wasn't really a bad pitch, but just got beat. And then Chavis, an RBI double, 4-1, second and third. One out, A.J. Minter, Minty Fresh, had to come in, slam the door, did it on two pitches, sacrifice fly to make it 4-2, and then a fly out on the next pitch. So A.J. Minter doing quick work, and that was really key because he'd been in back-to-back -back days, but Minter continues to uh, be amazing, all-star bound, in my opinion, really, really good there. And then Kenley Jansen, even though the umpire wanted him to work really hard, got three outs, one, two, three, easy breezy, and a strikeout. Uh, he struck out uh, Shawinsky like three times, but Larry Vanover had an iffy, iffy strike zone, but it doesn't matter. As always, go Braves champions forever. That one was fun. Woo, nine in a row, baby.